Right, we've got a check engine light on my Hyundai i20 and um, today when I was driving it, first time ever I really had an error on it. it. It was just driving along and all of a sudden it was just completely kind of pulled back like it ran out of power. I did the most obvious logical thing possible, turned it off. Uh, it came to stop up as he kept turned it off, turned it back on, cranked it again and uh, still running out of power. It happened when the car actually warmed up, not when it was cold. So, check engine light is on. Now, I remember last time I lost power, it was on the Ford. And what happened was, um, I blew the um, uh, map sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor. Um, and, uh, and there was a fault on that, because kind of, I kind of blew the wires off, uh, funny enough and uh, lost complete power. So this one's a puzzle and today when I came back from work caref I took it very carefully. Uh, I obviously did the most other logical things possible as well which is uh, take, take the negative terminal off the battery for a while and took it back on reset everything. But still never worked. So let's find out. The only way I can find out is either start swapping things. So map sensor comes to mind I've really cleaned the MAFS sensor, M-A-F sensor, so if you've got a handy scanner tool, use it now. If you've got a di bi-direction one, even better like I have. If you've just got an ordinary £100 scanner, use it. This is the time to use it. So the uh, data port, OBD2 port, is behind this panel here. I'm trying to remember how it's so long ago since I took it off. Reach in maybe with a fuse box. Is there is or the bottom of the fuse box. So I'm going to connect up my um, my bi-directional scanner, and uh, I'll be curious to find out what it is. So I've got the choice of USA, European, and Asian. Picking Asian, all these come up. So pretty much everything: Jusa, Hyundai, Honda, Acura. Daewoo, Mazda, Lexus, Kia, Infiniti, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Proroda, don't even know what that is, Proton, Skyon, Subaru, Suzuki and Toyota. So doing that, obviously I've connected my OBD2 port. Auto uh, vehicle select. Alright, so um, I'll get into a diagnostic area and we'll see. So after I've been put to the uh, VIN number and checked that the, uh, it's the right vehicle, auto scan, it should take a while. It's quicker than I thought, so I'll keep the camera on me. There's not a lot of options for this particular Hyundai. It's not that you do much, so I've got some sort of code here. Airbag, so I don't really want to, some sort of code, definitely check engine lights on. I'm very curious on what it is. Sometimes just hooking up a scanner can kind of fix things, just delete, oh my word. ESP, BCM, code, 100%, what's this? Remove the ignition key, key insert. Where's that? Go one, two, three. Press the lock button. Code saving method. No, I don't want that. I think this is to do with the key. Uh, what's this? No, I don't want live data. I want to know what the heck's going on. Live data would be running the engine, checking all the... Oh, actually, running the engine, checking all the thing, it might give me like you know, a corrupt sensor or something. Oh, same thing. 
I'm just back out this active test. No, I don't want to. This is this is what we can do. Look, lock, unlock, tailgate lock, rear defogger. I can do all these sort of things. Not that many actually. ECU information. Don't want that either. Live data is it's just pushing me towards the live data. Just escape now, so I can. Right, sometimes it doesn't work like this, it makes me do it a few times. Right, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna keep working on this, it'll take a few goes on this. Right, using that bi directional one wasn't giving me any information at all, especially on a code, the error code, it was just going on to the live data when I pressed it. So I'm gonna try this um, cheaper one, T on. Vehicle diagnostic, I can't even to use this one. Uh, it must be this key. Let's have a look. Enter. So it's post greater or equal to less than or equal to 2000, greater or equal to 1999. They're going to get this wrong, aren't they? Uh, manual auto ID. Must be that one. Turn the key to off position. 10 seconds. Turn, turn on the key. Vehicle does not support. Okay. He did that. When I first noticed there's some sort of error. That's before I took the map centre a couple of days ago to clean. That was the time to plug in the bi directional now it's so screwed up and I'm getting somewhere. Quick test results. Misfire fuel system. Sort of normal reading. We toads. Come on, this is the one we want. What on earth is this? Any more? Confirmed. Oh, okay, now the cheap bloody machine got me this. One one eight six. No DTC definition found. C service menu. No DTC definition. Yeah. Is that the injector? No DTC definition found. C service menu. P1186. P118. It's going to have to be a computer job. I have no clue what this is. Or even DTC. At least we've got something. See, on this I can erase. DTC This is going to record whatever I want it to record. This is going to take too long. Right, so 1186, no DTC. Let's look it up. Maybe. So the indications are P1186 for Hyundai is fuel pressure monitoring, minimum pressure, engine speed's too low. 
So a fuel, 40 fuel pressure regulator valve stuck open, 40 rail pressure sensor. The rail pressure sensor, I know what it is, where it is. And, um, let's have a look on the uh, online, I mean the uh, electronic manual. It is saying this area, it's not, this is not the manual, but i am just scroll down the screen. This area here on an engine that looks very similar to my one. I think this could be like a 1.6, I'm not sure. This area here next to the dipstick is saying just here is the fuel pressure regulator valve. So it's not in a crappy position. It's worth having a look at the car. Because it's not too bright. Um, it is, I think the picture was the same. Uh, so is there any point in loading up the diagnostic in the electronic? I'm not sure. There is the, it's indicating this is a fuel pressure regulated valve. I have no clue it was there, but that's what it says. It looks like a, like one of them torque screw things. Uh, see it? There's one there. One there. Probably one on that side. Yeah, three. You can't really see it. Yeah, three. Take off the lead, and I think that valve will come off. It's a Bosch, a Kia Bosch. It's got a lettering on it. Let me put it away. So I'm going to take a picture of this valve. I've heard these do go. Is it in a logical place? There is fuel pipe going in there, isn't there? There's a fuel pipe that's going leading straight into it from the top. Alright. I better. I think it's expensive. Right, let's take a picture of it. And the rail sensor is just there. On the right hand side. So it'll be the left hand side of the engine. But while I'm looking at it from the front, standing in front of the car, it's on the right hand side. And the yellow tab on it, it's got to be the rail, a rail pressure sensor. I wonder which it is. I think I will have to load that with diagnostic. Not forgetting to go back and erase the code, because you never know. Do you think logically? Check engine lights still on. Raised code. Sure, yeah. I remember it. Turn the TV off. Let me deal with cars, just do everything logically. Turn key on with engine off. Oh, I'm sorry, don't know. Okay. There it is. Press enter. Come on, sent, come on, codes remaining. So, into the continue. We codes, should have no codes. Doesn't mean there isn't one there. So, time to unplug this scanner. This is not the bi directional one. And turn the engine off. Turn it on. Thank you. Okay, engine light's not on at the moment. It makes sense it's not on at the moment because it's when I pushed it with the um, extra thrust is when um, now that the now that it codes off, it's worth plugging in a bi-directional one, right? It's still coming out of this one here on the auto scan. Scanning a con. It was that BCM one, wasn't it? It was a body control module. And the rest of the computer. It's still coming up with a fault. 
Now what I have got is I've got like an earlier version of this, uh, the data that's in here, like uh, did you notice when I loaded up it was Hyundai, I can't remember, 11.08. I've got Hyundai um, like 7 point something as well, so way back on another little memory card. So I'm going to pop that one in. Now, now if you was to update this on the computer for all vehicles you need a pretty large memory card a good quality one just 32 gigabyte takes everything all sorts of cards and uh, this one i only limited to a few types of models so now i plug this in the data it will not be half as much plug it in the data port but it's an earlier version i can't remember it's definitely not 11 points i think this one so let's load it up let's see what so i only you or the Asian ones. Auto check. Yeah, it didn't work the other time, did it? Should I do that? So now on this of the version, I didn't even catch what version it was. Seven, but maybe seven point something. It's a different readout, isn't it? Engine fault one. Code pass no fault on here because we erased it. So it's a different, so it's worth when you update these, just to, for every major update, keep a different card, and just kind of like, um, label them as such. No, it's only ESP, is a full on ESP. Wasn't expecting that. History, steering angle sensor circuit signal. So this is actually the older version of Ford Hyundai is actually better, isn't it? Make sure I never forget this card there. History steering angle sensor circuit signal. That was a while ago, I think. When I never there. So I'm gonna erase that. That was a long time ago when I had the tracking and when it was off. I'm sure it was that. And this one. History. Sp high speed can you communicate? Bus off. C can. High speed can communication boss off. Remember, it doesn't think there's an error in there, does it? Do you know there's an error because I uh, raised it? It's probably worth me driving it tomorrow. I don't want my day complete. Um, see if there's any different active tests here. Very different from what before. Injector specific data. This tells you what your injector numbers are, where the data is. I was wondering if this is. I know what I've already written this stuff down. Can I move this out? Uh, if the injector ECU is changed, this function should be performed, of course. I remember when I blew out the map sensor on the other car. All these went to blank. Luckily I wrote them down. So when you ever you can put a new injector in, you've got to put in the codes for it. If the injector ECU is changed, this function should be performed. To control the normal fuel injection, half this function will be Turn the juking off and recheck the system in 10 seconds. Injector 1, 2, so it's got numbers there. I will check these against the uh, my data of my, what I've written down before. 
So it's saying write it, okay. It's very different from before, isn't it? This test is used for comparing the engine speeds of each cylinder without injection. Detect the engine speed of each cylinder without cylinder balancing and comparing injector quality quantity correction of each cylinder with cylinder balancing. This is a you ready select menu, okay. Compression test. No, I didn't know this was there. This test is used for comparing engine speed each Shift lever neutral, engine on, electric load off, yep. If you're ready, please cranking, stop cranking when it appears and stop message. Press OK button. If you're ready, please cranking, stop cranking when it... To test this function, turn ignition on for the second attempt. Please turn off 15 and restart. So the it won't start because the injectors are off. This is a compression test. I was going to do a compression test as well. I was going to do a compression because I remember after the crash, I thought I lost some compression because I thought the um, the bat of the piston rings had worn or scraped across. Yeah, I've done it a while now. Why is not time to stop? I've banked it for a while. Okay. Cranked it for him, cranked it, and cranked it. Testing this test is for detecting any speed of each cylinder without cylinder balancing. Um, it's very different from the other version that we had. Too bad this is a four gig card. You can get all the cards on this version. Well, I'll give you the results. So I might take. Just notice on this. Um, bit here, component change routine, I it may have to change the roll pressure sensor, right? So I remember it's here, but the um, fuel pressure regulator valve change is not on here. VGR change, actuator, I think that's the turbo, I think. Airflow sensor change. Now remember I cleaned it out, I didn't change it. You can reset the store drift value of hot film airflow sensor. Actually, I do want to do this. I cleaned it the other day. Maybe after cleaning it, I should really change it. Leave off for 10 seconds. Perhaps even cleaning it. <clears throat> the definitely is when you change it. I wonder if that's the start of the uh, issues. Not sure. Did it clean the map sensor? Some all sorts of issues with the fuel. Didn't say it, didn't say it, right, did it?
I don't remember reading all this stuff before when I plugged this version in. A bit odd. I remember, I remember changing his lambda sensor a long, long time ago. Definitely this lambda sensor is a different lambda sensor. It's going to be a long video guys. Still works. <laughs> Let's go and get it. Let's just switch it on. Well, I could I've done what I could do. I guess the only thing is to drive it to work. To drive it around a little bit around the block tomorrow. I don't know if I should drive it now. It's the dark. If I break down, I'll be screwed. I'll drive around. Now, as I ran it just now, it's running really well. Full power as normal. Not like this afternoon when I came back from work, it was totally screwed. Uh, always a good idea to run the scanner for it again. No codes. You know, I ran through all the tests on that other bi directional scanner, the crank, the compression test. Which I didn't even know they had a compression test there. <laughs> compression test, because um, I'm probably used to the other card, the other version, Hyundai Diagnostic. Um, even tested the, uh, I think it said something like the cylinders without cylinder balancing, then cylinder with cylinder balancing. I'm not even sure. But did all that. What other tests did I do? Remember, I you, pretend I installed a new lambda sensor. I'm not sure if I pressed the installed new lambda sensor before. Definitely, the thing I did do the other day was spray down the MAF sensor, if you remember. MAF sensor, mass airflow. I didn't do this. Um, I don't know, I normally don't have to. I can't install the new MAF sensor. So, no codes found. No check engine light. Well, I mean, there is now, but when you crank it up, there's none. It goes off, so it's not a check engine light, then, not really. Alright, what can I say? I don't know, well, I'll just run it for a while and see what happens. Let's say, for example, this is part one of this video, if it's part two, God forbid there's no part two, it means um, I'll be changing the um, pressure regulator. Yep fuel pressure regulator valve we know it's not in an awkward position which is also a thankful moment alright thank you hit the like button please subscribe if not a subscribe already and or consider subscribing if you've got any comments leave below your comments uh, hit the like button if you dislike it the dislike like it just hit the, you know anything I'll try and answer your questions best I can the takeaway from this is Actually, you, you know these these cars these days are um, just sniffy. It smells quite good out of the back. Normally, it's quite stinky kind of exhaust. It smells all right actually. I can't really smell it, which is a good thing. I should confirm that in just a second with the camera running. These days, you're going to have to have just a plain old scanner that reads 
and if you're lucky enough you can afford it buy the plain old buy by directional scanning you can you've just seen what I can do with it I had to have both didn't I to, 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 to even half think about sold me just have a little smell Smells actually all right. It's not. It's really quite good actually, which is a good sign. All right, please hit that like button. All right. Um, checking out the global diagnostic system. You see, in the year two thousand nine, it's the closest year I got to mine. Um, two thousand ten. So here on the pressure fuel pressure control valve check the resistance between terminal one and terminal two of the valve now if i go to component information uh there's nothing in 2010 2009 this one fuel pressure control valve uh, specification coil resistance between 2.6 and 3.15 ohms so it's worth checking that straight off the bat let's just check is it this is it yes is the one near the dipstick fuel pressure regulator later valve is installed in the high pressure pump this valve is controls the fuel and that feed from fuel tank like that the fuel fuel this fuel system is called fuel pressure control system you can precisely quickly control fuel pressure in accordance there's the valve that's the connector I think so it's like a cylindrical thing I'm sure my one was pretty flat looking I'll have a look at that. Can't remember now. Remember, definitely it was three, three bolts. Flat. If it's circular, then I'll have a look in a minute and have a little look. I'm not sure it's FTS thing here. Just goes that way. Uh, so we did that. Schematic drawing. It should, be, it should look like that. I should go to the engine management system, the computer, here, here, so it should be two terminals between, what was it, 2.6 and 3.15, troubleshooting, it's getting a bit technical, this waveform should be like this, disconnect, check the resistance, so I didn't get any of these codes, did I, I had 1186, Um, just turns me out of resistance. I guess it's a case of taking out and changing it. Same sort of thing. It's the same picture as the other one we saw, isn't it? My error. It's got all this stuff in it, all pretty useful. I've got a time to check it out. So, now we'll quick look at that picture. Circular, it's a bright thing, circular. Circular top, let's have a look at it. I'm getting 2.7. It is a, looks like after the three bolts are taken off, it is a cylindrical, cylindrical thing at the top. It's quite hard to test it. 
That's exactly, it keeps changing if I'm not careful. Hold it there, it's 2.7. So it says 2.6 to 3.15. That's okay, you know, that thing. So, what can I say? It could be stuck open, right? The resistance is correct. Possibly it could be stuck open. If it was stuck open, I'll get too much fuel then. Which means it'll be kind of black, smoky crap all the time. Which I don't think is the case. So we see, it could be just a glitch that I've had and uh, the diagnostic tool has kind of done something to it. We'll see. If it's stuck open, high, high, if that was stuck closed, less fuel, stuck open, lots of fuel. That would mean smoky. Alright, what can I say? Should run it like this for a little while, I guess.